गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी तो टूडे वी हैव द प्रैक्टिकल क्लास ऑन व्हाट वी हैव टेकन द थ्योरेटिकल क्लास ऑन द फिफ्टीन दैट इज ऑन द टॉपिक इंडेक्सिंग एंड साइटेशन डेटा बेसिस सो एज आई फाउंड देयर इज अ वेरी लिस्ट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑनलाइन सो प्लीज वी कैन वेट फॉर अ वाइल सो दैट द सेटिस्फैक्ट्री नंबर ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट्स कैन ज्वाइन इन ऑनलाइन i think there there was a break in between that so the participants had left online so now they are joining so we can wait for 5 to 10 minutes then we can start the session so now we can start the number of online participant also increase up to the 60 so we can start now so last day we are discussing about the indexing indexing and citation databases so i told you that why indexing is important 
indexing initially it's because the main purpose of indexing is to uh, to quickly uh, find out from any databases or from any any uh, uh, any huge number of collection if there will be there then indexing is required to find out the easily and quickly it also identify that the if uh, any journal is indexed in a reputed databases then it also uh, show the uh, journal standard or you can say that we can evaluate the uh, journal that this journal is a high quality journal if not indexed in any databases that we can consider that this journal is not qualified for the uh, uh, as a qualitative journal so now uh, today we will discuss some important indexing databases so first of all i would like to show you from the open sources so this is our university library website you know all all the all all of you if uh, it will be uh, if you don't remember the uh, the website address then it will be easy to go through the vishwabharti website so i just simply show you from the vishwabharti website so this is the website address of our Vish Vish university vishwabharti.ac.in go to visit our website then here there is a library menu click on that the library website will open here there is a resources under the resources menu there is a open access initiative i think you have the also a lecture on the open access in initiative so i am choosing the indexing databases from the open access resources you see here last day we have discussed about the open uh, directory of open access journal doaj so click on that the directory of open access journal has opened <clears throat> this databases includes uh, more than 80 languages all over the globe 131 countries it's represent the journal is the more than 1300 journal this is without the apc apc last day i told you the article processing charge is the apc and this is the 19 more than 19000 journal and it covers more than 86 lakhs and 76,000 articles record it has. It has also a similar website like the DOAJ. There is a DOAB AB is also there for the books. This is this directory is for directory for open access journal. But that DOAB is also uh, that is that for the electronic books. DOAB directory of open access books. But today we are discussing about the directory of open access journal. So you can find out any journal. <clears throat> Initially, you have prepared a research paper. You are thinking to will send to some standard journal. You you search the these databases where that journal is indexed here or not. So you can search in a very different manner also. You you can search from title if you know the exact title of your journal then you can find out from the journal. If you don't know the title, then you can search by the subject also. So you, you will find there are a lot of uh, identifier or the search in the term is there. If you know the title, you may also, uh, if you know the ISSN number of journal, if not, then you can search from the subject. You can also search from the publisher. So I am looking from the subject. So I choose chemistry. You see in the chemistry subject, 300, uh, 304 index journal is there. You can delimit this result in many ways. Like in the left hand side, you see, they have mentioned the different subjects between this chemistry. You can also uh, uh, make a delimiter by the language. So I am looking in the English language. You see, it has been delimited to the 282 journals. You can also delimit it by the country. 
you see your publishing country is also there so you are you are looking indian journals so it has been delimited to the five five index journal so you can choose now as five is very not high uh, number of journal you can go through one by one and you can select your desired journals this way you can find out the journals you go to the mother website of the journal what you have selected you see there is a website their details is also if they are they are charging any fee then the information is also available there they have also given their uh, articles you can directly uh, get their uh, full text article from the website and you can also search their mother website of the journals to check the, to cross check the whether that journal is mentioned there uh, uh, different information is mentioned there or not so in the previous class also i have told you that the actually there is a requirement to cross check because some publisher mention falsely that their journal is indexed in these databases but that but that databases does not include them or otherwise uh, uh, sometimes what happens is periodically the databases is also evaluating the journal according to their criteria if some if at some point of time if that journal is not following the criteria properly then they exclude that that journal so for that you need to cross check so what are the what are the different publishing guidelines they have mentioned you need to check editorial editorial board is there sometimes indexing info, in, indexing information they also mention in their mother website journal policy have stacking indexing you see here they have mentioned they they have indexed in directory of open access journal so this way you need to cross check whether that journal is really indexed or not the google scholar they have also in, indexed so in this way you 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 need to check the journal if you have any specific title in your mind you may tell me otherwise i will show you the randomly <laughs> communication in the communication <laughs> it is a subject na communication is a subject just wait first i will check the communication it will come it will come so 308 index journal from the communication subject has been displayed here now i'd like to delimit by the language it has been delimited to the two 11 journals you can also delimit from the country so there is no any i think indian journal in the communication indexed in in directory of open access journal you can also delimit by the reviewing policies you are if you are looking the blind review journals double blind review journals so you may also select from there the 31 journal is the blind review journals so in this way you can 
find out your journals from a, any specific subject another title what you are suggesting who has told after the communication subject huh something was the agriculture agriculture extension agricultural extension so in the agricultural extension on that specific title it is not showing anything so we may search from the agriculture there are 23 index journal in the directory of open access journal so we can delimit by the language it will be then you can also delimit by the countries there is no any agricultural journal from the india indexed in directory of open access journal so 17 journals are indexed from the agricultural science which is in the english language you can check by uh, this way the other indexing journal i will show you this was the directory of open access journal so now i will show you the pubmed or the other indexing pubmed central here also you can search your journals is basically this pubmed is in uh, index uh, in the bio biological sciences basically bio biological or biomedical sciences so malaria journal or they have also given the list you may go through the list also to find out your journals you see malaria journals the access is free access all the information they have mentioned this was the indexing i am not dealing the citation cited for citation we will discuss the another database that is web of science that database provide the citation data web of science uh -huh. so sorry no no that is citation database search engine is the google google scholar other site uh, search engine uh, also there so this was the pubmed another database also they are like the epsco database epsco database is also there but for that you need to access access credential as because this is not the free database some other databases like the uh, you have heard about i think emral database you heard and uh, some publishers database like the sage any journal is indexed in sage journals that journal you can also choose for your publication the other databases uh, uh, like the cambridge university press journal 
so these journals are basically according to the publishers they are the uh, they are uh, have the their specific standard for inclusion of that journals in their databases like if you choose journals from the publishers wise you see here these are the different publishers they are following the standard practice for inclusion of any journal in their databases like american chemical society american institute of physics american physical society annual review economic political weekly oxford university press springer taylor and francis science direct these are the standard databases any any low quality journal i think it will be very difficult to include that journals in the, in this in this database this publisher i have mentioned here in the website is because this publisher are accessible within the campus except uh, except this publishers there are also a lot uh, they are in the on the net but that is not accessible in the campus so these were the publishers wise uh, <coughs> database for inclusion of journals now we will discuss about the citation databases if you have any query on the indexing indexing part you may feel free to ask how to how to find out any journals as because theoretical part i have discussed in the last class today i will only show you the uh, means practical part so how to find out so now we can move, move to the data citation database so first of all we need to talk about the wave of science we have two citation database access in the campus <clears throat> one is the wave of science and another is the math scinet math scinet basically is for the mathematical sciences so wave of science as i found out that the in your in previous class ma'am is also talking about the wave of science so how to find out i think all the things you have most likely cleared about that but still i will show you so there is need to have uh, need to create an uh, online account there except the account uh, it will be accessible but uh, the other facility you will not get so for that you need to create an account so i have account i am going to log in on that ah bolo koi jab ha any confusion online online participants no confusion sir okay thank you you see here i have logged in through my login credential it has been detected my login credential as ajay kumar sharma and if you find out whether you may check whether this database is accessible in the campus or not they will provide you by this database is provided in the campus by in flipnet some some in uh, somewhere in the uh, in the footer they will provide the information
<laughs> okay, I will show you later on. So now, what we can search from the web of science? You can find out the citation of any author or the multiple author. You can make a comparison of within the different author according to their citations. So as I told you also in the last class that uh, the more citation, author having the more citation is more reputed than author. Sim similarly, the, the journal which have the highest number of impact factor or high, 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 high number of citation is the highly reputed journals. The same, the same thing also. The same thing also in the case of the university also. You can make a comparison among the university also. The which university is best in any subject discipline. So you can face the citation data of the university uh, faculty members and uh, all together you will uh, have an assessment, uh, the citation analysis of the university. It is also helpful to find out the ranking of the university according to the citations. Ma'am, in the last class, ma'am, show you the, uh, the citations from the Bidwan databases. Bidwan databases actually fetching the citation data from the Google Scholar. So I will recommend you all the uh, researchers to create a Google Scholar ID. And as and when you publish any research paper, you listed, you add your uh, research article details in the Google Scholar. So if someone will cite that journal, you will have a citation and it will so uh, it will be shown on the uh, your profile. So in that way, you can have a calculation of your uh, H, H index, I index also. It will be automatically counted. That, that I will also show you how to create an ID. So here, uh, they have given the two type of option that is document search or the researcher search. In the part of document search, you will be able to find out the any journals, articles, any document related information. And in the researchers field, they will you will be able to find out the researchers profiles. So in the name search, if you find out the name, So they will ask for first the surname. If you know any, the author name, then, then you can find out the specific search by the author. So just I am, I am putting the, uh, the imaginary name like uh, Sharma. <clears throat> you see here the the database has been come from come from this range even the this data provided by the web of science since 1968 to 2023 they have given the range for each and every data so you may you may be uh, you may filter that uh, by putting the additional information which uh, which uh, Ajay Sharma is that? By uh, they have given the different search filters. You see here, the Ajay Sharma is a Ajay Sharma or a Sharma. Just I will show you how to filter, make and filter whether this Ajay Sharma belongs to the these organizations. You see, they have also given the number of organizations. As because Ajay Sharma may be many more. So which Ajay Sharma you are looking for? So you have to be make an specify which Ajay Sharma. Suppose I am looking for the Amity University or the Aligarh Muslim University. You need to filter that. The subject also, which this Ajay Sharma is belong from which subject category. You need to identify the chemistry. This is from the India. So in this way, you make an refine on that. So from India and the other subjects, then not data is not coming. <clears throat> uh, 
<laughs> so for india 18 result has been come the ajay sharma then you can filter step by step you need to make and filter you see in this way the ajay sharma has come so if you click on the profile you will be able to see the the academic identifier you see here all the information the h index of this ajay sharma has been come the 13 h index total number of citation this uh, 28 publication in web of science has been indexed by the ajay kumar sharma the 650 citing articles is there you can also check the citation report as i told you in the last class that this will provide you the linking of the citations means how uh, the the uh, the references which you have cited in this paper that will be mentioned on if you click on that who has cited the 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 citing author will be appear then who then the other reference sources cited by that author is also appear there so you will find out the reference linking of the citations there even you can also find out in which journals they have appeared you see here the journal citation indicator is also there so in this way you will find out the the author author citation information now you can find out by the organization suppose i am looking the citation of the vishu bharti so i am searching i will show you the vishu bharti vishu bharti university <coughs> so you see here there are different options there by default it has been selected to the most recent publications if you choose the publication within 5 year it will be data will be like that and if you choose the all publications it will come since <coughs> the i think from the 1900 onward you see 306 306 results has been displayed now you need to filter <laughs> Three hundred six results. Mm. 
you may also need to cross check whether whether the author particular author which has been displayed in this vishwabharti university whether that actually belongs to the vishwabharti or not so you need to cross check the author credential also so here all the authors information they have given you see this is there is a vishwabharti university so this may be the right right one maybe sometimes author has been in the vishwabharti university but currently he is working in the other institutions so as and when he will be the author of the vishwabharti the data will come as a vishwabharti you can make an also the uh, the uh, you see the author index is also there the number of time cited also information is given here so all the metrics will be displayed you can make an analysis analytical study even also according to the data which you have fetched from the web of science you see this is the this is that cited time strained according to the since 1990 the data has been displayed so this is the this was the publication data and this was the citation data all the data has been come you can see the trend how the citation trend is going on even you can also download the data what you have got as a result and what you have search in the web of science you can also download in the excel sheet and you can make an another analytical study on on the x microsoft excel or something other databases you see what i have got since last 5 year data to 266 data that i need to download so you click on that you click you select all the data and they will provide an option to download your citation data there <coughs> so actually the problem i am facing this uh, this system has been detected as a, as a, as the out i mean say uh, this is not detecting uh, the in the campus network i am using the wifi so the the the, the website is not automatically identifying that we are searching from the campus or not so this is was the problem i am facing so we need to go to the remote access otherwise last day i told you that what you have searched it will be save in the history also so that you can further if uh, if at any stage of time you if you need to cross check or you can have a growth analytical pattern then you need to put the same search same search query 
So for getting that, it, your search history will be saved. But here I am unable to find out the my history, what I have searched earlier. And when it will be identified that you are accessing from the campus and the footer, it will be automatically identified. But here I am not able to find out. So just wait for that. So as I told you that for getting the remote access, your library card will be your username. Your library card will be your username and VBU123 will be the password. So I have login in my remote ID. You see it has been login. So, so now, This is the way of the uh, interlinking interlinking references. If you open any specific article, that article will show you the, the their citations information. You see here the cited how many times cited this paper. <clears throat> this is the cited reference by this article. If you click the citation citation Sir, please, can you tell me the password? Password is showing the incorrect password, which is showing.
there is a question from online pool. Yes. Please tell me the password for remote access in web of science as the password is easy one to please tell me in web. There is actually that is not the password for the web of science. That is the password for the remote access. The password you need to create in the web of science. You have to you have to register. That is free of cost. You have to register in the web of science. Then according to your uh, creation, your password will be there. The VBU one two three is the default password for the remote access. That is not for the web of science. There is some IP IP authenticating problem is there. <clears throat> हाँ एक बार आपके So someone asked that the about the user ID and password. So you need to create your ID profile. You need to create your ID ID profile that the the study that the last day what we have discussed in the class that the, your library card and user ID VBU pass VBU one two three is not actually the user ID and password for the web of science. That is for the remote access. Here they have given 
for the option to sign in or the register. Those who don't have the uh, ID in the web of science, you, they need to create a new user ID. And by creating this user ID and password, they need to provide the password. That password will be that user credential for the web of science. And those who have created your, their ID, they have to put the user name and password. Now the problem has been sorted out. As I told you that the, there is a IP authenticating problem I'm facing due to uh, I am use, I was using the external IP. You see here when when you click to the any databases, if that database is accessible within the campus, it will identify. You see here they are giving the affiliation on their website that I am I am from where I am using this is the Bishwar. So they have automatically identify our IPs and according to that, they have given the institution name. Earlier, this, this features was not enabled. So you see here, they have, they have given the affiliation. You see the Inflipnet UGC. Actually, this wave of science is uh, given by the UGC through the Inflipnet. So they have identified our IP and they have detected as from where we are accessing this database. So as I told you that uh, your history will be saved. Earlier, what I have searched, you see here, all the history is mentioned here. What you have, what you will search in this databases, all the data will be searched, uh, saved in your database. So if you need to cross check, you see here, you need to click on that only. So I have searched the Vishwabharti University data in the, in the web of science. And even I was trying to download the data, but uh, but that time I was unable to show as because I was I was using that database as an external me, member. Excuse me, sir, now sorry I am. Sir. Yeah, sorry. Sir, Any it, question? Sir, it, sir, it looks uh, hanged, sir, for online participants. We could just see only the, your uh, profile, sir. Uh, only a blank page. Yes, sir. Just wait. Just wait. Whether I have share or not. Yes, yeah, so Samajit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Now it is coming. Yes, sir. Now it is okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I told you that the earlier. Just bit, bit a minute earlier, I was uh, accessing, I was trying to access the wave of science, but actually uh, the, uh, I was not able to access within the campus that I told you that there was, there was a IP problem. I was using the external IP. So they are not giving me the full access. 
even i was trying to show you to download the data bus or that option was not enabled now the ip i have i have changed and i have accessing this database from the ministry of education wifi database mhrd that is a campus campus network so they have identified identify me and they have given all the privilege all the all the features so now you can download the data also so you you see here if you if you click on the select option they will provide you the data to export mute to nahi check this so you need to download the data in the different different file format some of the file format is the reference manager file format according to that you can download there is a option also the excel format there you can also Excuse download sir sorry. sorry to interrupt again actually yeah. sir it looks like the screen is hanging sir actually we could not see the screen moving or the cursor is moving sir it looks it is totally hanging Just we could see the uh, image. We show about the Central University Wi-Fi. Your net internet session is started. Log out. That icon only we could see, sir. We could not see any moving. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait, please. We'll try to resolve. Priya please mute yourself please be muted please trying to we are trying to solve the issue please actually there is a network issue when i was using the campus network the actually the network speed is very slow so unable to screen share and when we i am using the external external network their speed is good but unable to identify the ip so that was the problem Huh? Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
ಸೌಂಡ್ ಫೋನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಸುಷ್ಮಿತಾ ಬಿಸ್ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ so due to technical problem uh, we are actually i am unable to show you the how to download the data as because that 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 ip ip problem was not resolved when i am when i am using the campus ip the uh, the screen share is not possible that due to the very low low internet speed and when i am using the external outer outer network the speed is well and good as i show you, uh, as i uh, i now the online participant can get my screen yes yes, yes sir we could sir we could yes, see yes, the yes, 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 sir yes but the problem is that i am i will be unable to show you the online features as because uh, i am not using the campus network and uh, all the feature will not be accessible to me even earlier the those options which are given by the databases if i refresh <coughs> the other feature will be hidden so now it has been come so let us what we can do so i would like to download the data so earlier there was uh, the five uh, at a time you can download the 500 data but now they have extended to the 1000 you can download 1 to 1000 data at a time from the from the google uh, sorry from the web of science the what the field will be there in the databases you can select if you choose the only author title source or you wish to choose the data as a full record you may choose according to that and you can export the data 
the data will be exported in the in the txt format you see here Uh, no, it has been saved in the MS3 format. You see, all the data has been saved in your Microsoft Excel. In this way, you can download from the uh, download data from the Web of Science, and you can have an analytical study on the different analytical indicators, like the on the citation part, or in the on the author citation or the journal citation. So, according to that, you can have an analysis on that. You can also have a citation report also on the Vishwabharti. On the Vishwabharti, you see here the data has been come from the 1989 to 2003. 1989 to 2003, the total number of publication is 5,482. The total citing article is 70,000. Total citation time cited is 1,26,000. What are the H index of the Vishwabharti by the wave of science? You see here, this is 127. So on that, in this way, you can also create the citation analysis of the different authors also. And you can make a, have an analytical study, which author is the best, or according to the this institution analysis, you can also have an anal analytical study on the different universities. Like I have I have just done on the Vishwabharti. You can make an, a study on the Jadavpur University based on the citation of the Web of Science. In this way, you can make have an, a comparative study. And the data of uh, searching data will be saved. Even you can also, as I told you earlier in the class, that you can create an alert also. You can have a, you can create an alert even also. The, if any new citation will be added to the Vishwabharti, you will be uh, sent to the mail. You will have an mail on that the new citation is added in the Vishwabharti. So in this way, you will be have an updated all the time. Now, who is citing you? or where the, your paper has been citing. According to that, you can have an update on that. I would like to show you another university since uh, within within five years, but Banaras Hindu University data. <clears throat> you see now they have identified as an external, so all the feature has been disabled. Now they are not providing the analytical studies. Earlier, that maybe uh, they have identified earlier, but now now they are identified that I am using this database as an external. But still, you will get the citation data, but you will be uh, restricted to a limited features there. You can also create an author alert also. If you have any, any article index in the web of science, you select as an author there, and you can create an alert like this. Create an, an alert for this author. Any new citation added to this author will be informed to you on your mail. 
you can have the citation analysis of the any particular author you will be able to show his h index total publication total number of citing how much time they have uh, cited all the information will be displayed <clears throat> so this is all about the web of science now i will show you the de citation database from the math signet the other citation database math signet this information will be also available in our website under the resources there is a data online database if you click on that online databases you will be find the math signet click on the math signet as earlier the university name is coming on their website but now you see the website name is the university name is not coming so they they have identified me as an external user still i am trying to use so you can have the search on the different parameters like the publications you can search uh, from the author's perspective you can also search the from the journal from the citation part so <clears throat> i am searching from the subject so they are using for the username and password as because they have identified me as an external user so before that you need to create an username and password for searching that so i have changed the changed the uh, networking i i i am just using the internal network so for online participants please wait as because maybe my screen will not be visible to you so just just listen <coughs> if my screen will be visible to you then it is fine otherwise it will not be visible as because i am not able to uh, so the the web of science uh, sorry the math science net is because due to the network issue okay sir. so just i want to show you uh, for the journal from the publication part you see there are different uh, uh, the on, on the different uh, data uh, base uh, according to you can search uh, like if you wish to search from the author name or the title name or the journal name Um, institution you can also search so similarly as i search from the institution name from the web of science i would like to search you from the math signet vishu bharti you can also uh, select the time frame i i have by default it has been selected as entire database and you can also search the 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 year range from from since when to up to when you are looking the data so i am by default it has been selected in tar database but you you have the preference to search no publication from the institution vishwabharti actually the hyphen is not accepted accepting the math signet so i have just i have removed the hyphen from the vishwabharti now the now the data has been displayed 
you see 849 data has been displayed you can also download you can also download all the citations in different format the uh, the, the 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 bibliographical format in the bibliographical format like the bib text in the note or you can also save the uh, data in the html also so if you click on the actually all the record in the math signet database have they have a math, math signet identifier you see before the each and every data you will be able to see amr and some num numeric is there that is their data name data numbering even you can also have a filter in the different department you see here from the vishwabharti they have the different department department of mathematics department of physics department of chemistry maybe the inter interdisciplinary research is, is going on so the other department is also displayed here so you can make an filter on that also you can sort by the newest different you can sort by the different parameters like the the new article will come first the older article will come first the according to the citations mean the higher citation will be in the first and if you choose the according to the author the on the alphabetically uh, they will be arranged according to the alphabet like, like if you click the the according to the author author name they will be arranged according to the author surname so when we click to the any data you see all the all the data uh, related to that article what the other references he has used in their paper the all the data will be accordingly displayed and even they, that data is also identified as their data data numbering you see here all the all the references they have their their math signet data numbering that means uh, Uh, as per the uh, uh, what i have shown you in the web of science that the reference is interlinking likewise the same the in the math net also kuch jagah wala dikhe the result to dikha hai result to dikha hai aapko physics ka ek to reference to dekhta hu koi bharat hai sir please mute sir hello please be according to the 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 citation citation uh, interlinking the math signet is also following the interlinking of the no, of the no, database no, no. interlinking of the data means the article article database one citation is linked to the another citation nandapa chargosti please mute yourself please be muted online participant Yes. So, if you want to go to the another another citations and another reference on any particular uh, article, you will be also find out that their information is there. Even you can also the uh, you can also download the the information in the PDF format. so this way you can find out the citation databases citation information from the different database now i will i would like to show you the citation database how to how to you create or how to manage your citation data in the in the google scholar as because the the bidwan database is taking data from the from the google scholar so now i am going to change the 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 wifi network so that my screen will be visible to the online participants
Is my screen is visible now online? Online participant, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. It is visible now, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So now I am now I am going to search you the Google Scholar. Google Scholar is also providing the citation data. So you need not to uh, you need to know the Google Scholar also. So for for getting the Google uh, citation data in the Google Scholar, you have to ID in the Google first. <laughs> so when you will log in in your Google account, you you go to the Google Scholar then. Google Scholar automatically identify you, your user, user ID. You see here, they will, if you have an account in the Google uh, Scholar, they will identify you and they will provide you the, your citation, your H index, your I index. And the other databases like the Bidwan, the, in the earlier class, I, uh, uh, the ma'am has shown you, the Bidwan is uh, giving the H index, the citation information. Actually, they are taking the citation data from the Google Scholar. So it will be better if you have an account in the Google Scholar. And because Google Scholar, from the Google Scholar, all the databases, maximum databases are taking the data. And this Google Scholar is free, open access. So as and when you publish any research paper or any, any publications, you listed in the Google Scholar. And when someone will cite your that paper, then it, uh, you, it, your citation will be automatically uh, displayed in the Google Scholar profile. You can also search the other, other faculty profile, how much citation they have. Even you can also search by the university name also. You see, I have searched from the Vishu Bharti. You will be find a number of scholar or the number of faculty member from the Vishu Bharti will be displayed in the, the search result. You see the Sapandatta the earlier vice, uh, vice chancellor has the citation. You can also open their profile. You will be able to find out the number of citations, the H index, the I10 index. In this way, you can find out the citation information of the different faculty member from the different subject group also. And you have an, you have an a comparative analysis on the different aspects like from the different aspects in the, in the citations aspect, the H index uh, uh, aspect. You can also create an, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the profile of the, any journal even also. Nowadays, they are, journal is also creating their profile in the Google Scholar. Like I would like to search someone.
Sangeet Galaxy. You see here, the Sangeet Galaxy journal has created their scholar ID, a scholar ID in the Google Scholar. And when Ajahn, when the other other faculty, other other people is citing their journals, they are getting the citations. Even in this, you can also create an alert event. You see here, there is an alert facility in the Google Scholar also. For the faculty, for the, for the faculty and for the uh, for the author also, for the institution also, you can create the alert. As in when someone will cite you, you will have an uh, alert on your mail that, that this person has cited you. In this way, you will be updated every time that the, uh, the, how, the people, how, um, how people are citing your paper. So this is all about the citation databases. If you have any query or if you have any uh, uh, specific requirements about this uh, the citation data, uh, you may feel free to ask. Otherwise, we can wind up here. Sir? Huh? Sir, please say something about Open Access Journal. Open Access Journal? Yeah. Open access yes. journal is basically, uh, as, as the term indicate, the open access means that their access is free on the internet. For accessing that journal, you need not to subscribe. You, you need not to pay any paisa or any, any subscription charges. That is the open access journal. A lot of open access journal is there on the web, on the internet. Uh, at the very beginning of this uh, today's class, I, I have so you the directory of open access journal. So you must visit that directory. Uh, there is a lot of, I think more than 19,000 journal, open access journal is listed there. Okay, Even we, we, have the, we have the open access initiative page. I have shown you in the, on the, our library website, there is a resource menu. And under the resource, there is an open access initiative. You go to the open access resources, you will find a lot of open access. Open access platform is there, open access ebooks will be there, open access journal is there, open access publishers are mentioned, open access repository is mentioned. So you can access the your reading material free of course from their websites. Okay. Any okay, more questions? Sir. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, please. How, uh, how can listed my name as uh, Google Scholar? Google Scholar for, for listing your, for creating your Google Scholar profile, you have to first an account in the Google. Okay. After, after creating an account in the Google, then after you have to create a Google Scholar ID. Okay. If you if if you are interested to open the Google Scholar ID, okay, then sir, okay. okay. Uh, under the announcement page, there is also an an open access open access initiative is there there. We have mentioned more than 80 open access initiatives. <coughs> yeah. You see here, we have mentioned on the February, 1st February 2022, you will be find, you will be able to find more than 80, 80 open access initiatives. The, the different publishers, they are providing the open access resources. You should refer as because nowadays uh, the, the, uh, the author and the publisher is also looking the open access initiative. 
for getting for getting the maximum citation any more questions from sir, the sir, I, from the offline yes sir i have a question yeah. uh, sir as a scholar so when i'll be starting publishing so the first step would be google scholar i have to have an id on google scholar that is the first step i think right sir not for not required for the publication okay after publication after publication you have to google a scholar id as because after publication you listed you should list your publication in the google scholar so that the if any other person is citing your research paper then you will get an citation before publication it is not required okay sir so once my publication is there so you may create you one can create the id but uh, actually before publication what what the listing will be there if you have the earlier publication then you can list it you can list there okay sir. okay okay sir okay other questions from the offline participants sir please tell me manuscript manuscript is actually the the document which is written in hand hand written form Mention our name, etc. Huh? Very PDF format. No, no, no. Name to give to her. The all the bibliographical information should no, you should send regarding you. your author uh, regarding your title of the publication your author if you are the single author then it's okay otherwise if you have the multiple author all the information all the author information should be there author affiliation should be there author contact de detail should be there they will ask according to that even ha hmm पीडीएफ टाइम जैसे हमरा माने जेस पाठा ची पब्लिशर के वो इटा ते वोरा वोरा एक टा फॉर्मेट दे बे जेस की की फॉर्मेट है अपना के इनफॉरमेशन दी थे होगे वो इखाने निश्चय वोरा ऑथर इनफॉरमेशन चाहिए दे विल आस्क द ऑल द ऑथर इनफॉरमेशन डिटेल्स इंक्लूडिंग द पब्लिकेशन डिटेल इंक्लूडिंग योर जार्नल दे and in in uh, the font size also they are uh, giving the paragraph spacing also they are uh, giving for the citation they are also providing the specific citation uh, re reference style this reference style should be mentioned there so all the all the things should be in a specific a specific format if you send randomly then maybe your paper will not be accepted so before sending you need to check properly whether uh, what uh, what in which format they are asking whether you are sending on that particular format or not ha huh. limit mane kono kono samay basically ora diye da je mane kono kono samay khub beshi na pathiye da user ra athwa kono kono samay ekta duta pathiye da actually the keyword should be uh, based on your literature the mane oi ta keyword ta dile tumar literature ta find out hobe ebar jodi tumi sufficient keyword ta jodi na dao tahole hote pare ekta keyword theke jodi keu search kore your article will not be find out thik ache basically keyword e mane function ta oi tai so provide the sufficient number of keyword max uh, uh, at least the standard 5 should be there 4 to 5 should be there Otherwise, if you have the 
uh, literature uh, which requires more than also for more than five keywords also, then it should also be there. You know, maximum number of keywords should be there. Any more questions? Excuse me. Yes. So I'm from agriculture. Actually, we know that Sira consumption for e resources in agriculture. Is there any yeah. access? Sira, Sira. Sira, C R A, right? AI, sir. Consumption for e resources for agriculture. Oh, uh, I think not. Okay. Sira, we don't. Is, have it, it. Sira, we don't is have. it have any access to that in PA, Vishwamati, sir? I think not, sir. Sira, sir, if it is so, if it is, it will be useful for agriculture students, sir. I, I, I think so. You can, you can, you can recommend to the librarian according to the okay, fund sir. requirement uh, that should be purchased. But it's still uh, not available the Sira in the campus. But I can assure that the, your requirement should be fulfilled. If you need any specific journal article, then you please send me mail. Okay, I will try okay. to arrange from uh, from from anywhere. Yes, yeah, sir. That's okay, sir. That's that's obviously you will be doing. But uh, when yeah. we have like this database, like Sira, also in our uh, platform of uh, Vishwam Bharati Library Network, it will be useful much. I, yeah, I definitely, definitely. But till now we don't have the access to the Sira. Okay, sir. But okay. if you if you if you require any journal article from the Sira, then you please send. We will try to arrange. Surely, sir. Surely, sir. Surely. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Sir, if any article is published in a journal which is not open access, then how it will get uh, citations? The citation will be there. Citation will be there as because uh, um, many more institution is subscribing that journal. Even even by many means, uh, user is getting that article. Maybe Vishwabharti that journal is not accessing, but as I told you just now, if you require any journal or any article which is even not accessible in the campus, but we will try to arrange from the some other sources. So in this way, you can get the full text article and you can refer or you can cite any journal article. And okay. ultimately you will getting citation. But uh, as I told that the in the open in the case of open access, there is a high chance to get the citation, maximum citation. It's because their accessibility is free. Anybody can access, anybody can cite. But when we are sending any article to the paid journals or the subscription-based journal, if that institution or university is not subscribing that journal, the, the, the access will be restricted. So there are possibilities more. More possibilities mm -hmm. in open access. More possibility in the open access and less possibilities in the not paid subscription-based journal. But we cannot say not cite, no, we'll not get the citation. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Any other? अच्छा ग्रुपे आमी एक टा व्हाट्सएप व्हाट्सएप बोल ची आमरा एक टा फीडबैक लिंक शेयर करे ची ठीक है चे दोस कंडीडेट हुए हैव नॉट एट सबमिटेड दैट फीडबैक फॉर्म प्लीज फील दैट आई हैव शेयर्ड द लिंक ओके सर एंड दैट लिंक हैज बीन आल्सो शेयर्ड इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप इवन आल्सो सेंड योर ऑन योर ई So that that feedback is very much essential. You please submit the feedback as because your according to your feedback will be uh, we will act uh, on future. So if not any further questions, then we can wind out this session. So, so thank you, thank you thank up you to now. Sir. And still, thank still you have the question, then you can free, feel free to ask or send any mails. We have the contact details on your live on on our library website. You please visit that website page. You will be able to find out the contact details of any 
library professional. So if you feel any problem, then you please share your problem with the library professional. We will try to solve. So thank you. Okay, sir. Thank so, you so much. So your next class will be two on the two thirty two days. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we are closing the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you.